What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Customs. It's been a minute since we did a wreck it Wednesday, but we're back at it. And today we have this. This is a gun cabinet. Now, it's not much, but I'm really curious to see how it holds up against Ralph. So first of all, when you have a safe, you wanna make sure that you don't have much humidity. So you need some silicone. Put that in there. Grenade, knife, walkie talkie. We got us a rifle here too. Oh yeah, you'll be well protected. Will this gun cabinet hold up to Ralph? What if somebody took your gun cabinet and they said, I gotta get in there, I don't got the keys, and they're gonna try to break into it with their F-350. Will it hold up? Are you ready? We're ready. I don't know if I'm ready. I, it's been like two weeks since we did this, Watch so this I'm a little thing nervous. Come right through here. That'd oh, be kind of I really hope not. Is I can't wait to see what happened to this thing. <laughs> it's still working. <laughs> I can't believe it. Look at the mark from where the front of that bumper hit that safe. I wondered what that was. <laughs> My little Desert Eagle. Still in good shape. Broke my laser though. Mm. Nope, broke part of my scope too. Probably don't need these keys. Yeah, nope, don't need them at all. Just uh, come right off of there. Oh, the rifle. He broke a rifle. Hand grenade still good. Walkie talkie. I'm most surprised that that didn't bust. I mean, all in all, I think it held up pretty well. I expected it to fly into about three pieces. I didn't know what to expect. I really didn't. I thought these <clears throat> seams would bust. Yeah. And then it would just fly into a bunch of pieces. I say we do a bonus round. I've got a bunch of punching bags in the back of Ralph from a previous video on Kentucky ballistics. I say we set one of those up and see what happens when we hit it with Ralph. You know what though? The door actually held up pretty good. I mean, it's still pretty straight. Yeah. All this still works. Too bad it just popped right off. <laughs> this is a 70 pound bag. Oh yeah. Jeez. God. Dang, man. It totally just Look at this. I mean, it annihilated this thing. Oh, look. Bag of sand. Oh, 
They say that's what it's like to get punched by Francis Ngannou. <laughs> it hit that hard. I don't. I guess we'll just have to get the shovel and kind of. Is the shovel in there? Yeah, the black one is. We got most of it cleaned up right now. We're gonna come back out of here with a rake and we'll get the rest of it cleaned up later. We didn't think to bring a rake today. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this wreck at Wednesday. I thought it went pretty well, at least up until we hit the punching bag. <laughs> thought we were gonna have an easy cleanup, but we were wrong. We should have just put while we were ahead. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Customs, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, my name is Scott, his name is Scott, and we'll see you next time.